Who wants some? There's no limit to what he could do. He could destroy the Earth. You must say these words. Klaatu, Barada, Nikto. It was definitely an N-word. Klaatu, Barada, Nikto. Klaatu, Barada, Nikto! <laughs> Goodness. Okay, oh. hi folks. Um, hello. Thanks for watching The Creep Show. Um, I'm your host, Pepe Creep, once again. And uh, with me is a special friend I've got now. Oops, it's falling off here. Uh, this is my special friend. We like to call him, uh, well, actually, your real name is, is King Tut. King, well, you know, Pepe, you know, tonight you can just, just call me Tutu. You know. Tutu? How about Tootie? I like Tootie. Well, you know, Tutu, Tootie, Which, whatever. Whichever one you'd like. Toot, maybe Tootie. Yes, it doesn't that, matter. Anyway, fine. it's all good. Anyway, folks, for tonight's show, uh, we, we got some special stuff coming up um, that we'll be talking about a little later on. But what we'd like to do first is tell you a little bit about The Creep Show. Uh, the Creep Show is 30 minutes dedicated to sci-fi, horror, wacky kind of stuff. And um, we usually, you know, look at some B-movies. Right, right. We look at some silly little B-movies. And um, actually, on today's show, we're going to be looking at two silly little B-movies. Talking about, I believe, mummies? Mummies. Is that's that a, what we're that's talking our, about? That's oh. our topic. And, I'm uh, flattered. Well, Goodness. you look, you kind of look like a mummy here. Well, uh, thank you. Tootie. Well, you know, these, these rags are, you know, as soon as I got out of, you know, the tomb and everything, I thought, you know, I've got so many scars under here from, you know, the, the, the temple and, you know, the servants. Now, and exactly whatnot. what did they do to you in the temple? Well, Tootie? you know, sometimes life in Egypt got awfully boring, so All I right. would, you know, call my servants into my my chambers and you know we take the reeds out and you know do different things and you know whatnot with with the reeds and oh my god well, would you stop it you're teasing me um folks anyway today's show is all about mummies like we said and we've got two silly little movies we're going to be looking at we've got the mummy starring boris karloff it's it's an old black and white classic i think that should be a lot of fun i think actually don't you make a cameo in it is that true well yes i actually did star in that movie. Well, small part. Yeah, it was a small part, okay. but I enjoyed it. It got put food on the table, you know. For well, the, you've, you've got to make some money. For, for the little tuts. Right. Yeah. For all the little, little small ones. Little running tuts around. running around the house and whatnot. But, you know, also I think the other one we're looking at is, is Mom. 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 And uh, this is a classic. It's a little newer. It's a 1990 movie. I think that one actually is, is cameoing Stella, correct? Stella's in that one, from right. what I've heard. Great. Great. We'll, we'll take a look at that Sounds a little like bit later. Sounds like a good show. Right. All right. Well, you look you look phenomenal, Tootie. Well, this is kind of my morning look. I really morning haven't touched, look, yes. touched up yet, you know. After you've been sleeping for thousands of years, the morning look, you know, goes for at least a right. hundred. I know. think you've still got some morning breath, maybe. Is that what I'm smelling? Yes. Well, you know, do you like my leather jacket? I you like know. your leather jacket, but you know what I like more? I like this little decoration you've got going on here. You know, this kind of reminds me a little silly little thing that I had going on a while back. It was a little party, a little, little, little game. get-together. And, uh, you know, it's got a little, little wacky, little crazy. One of my friends started wrapping me in the toilet paper, and he threw me in the closet, and he said that we were playing mummy games. And I just didn't know oh, what that was that all is, about. Oh, that is definitely a fun one. And then he shut the lights off. But anyway, oh, we're not going to talk about that. We'll go into oh, that goodness. a little bit later. Well, actually, you know what? I think we're going to take a look at this uh, first movie. And this first movie is The Mummy. And, uh, well, let's just let's take a look at this little let's clip. Take it's a little wacky. See. Let's take a look sure. at it. Method is everything in archaeology, my boy. We always deal with our finds of the day in order. Well, it seems to me that that box we dug up today with the uh, very peculiar gentleman over there 
is the only find we've made in the past two months that'll bring this expedition any medals from the British Museum. We didn't come to dig in Egypt for medals. Much more is learned from studying bits of broken pottery than from all the sensational finds. Our job is to increase the sum of human knowledge of the past, not to satisfy our own curiosity. Well, that's all very true, Sir Joseph, but, but after all, we are human. And a find like this, well, how can you wait? This is your first trip. I've been out here ten years, and I'm more curious about that mummy than you are, and even more about that box. Yeah. The viscera were not removed. The usual scar made by the embalmer's knife is not there. I had a good look at him when I photographed him. Never saw a mummy like that. Neither I imagine as anyone else. Looks as though he died in some sensationally unpleasant manner. Contorted muscles show that he struggled in the bandages. Buried alive. In Hotep, high priest of the temple of the sun at Tana. Poor old fellow, now what could you have done to make him treat you like that? An execution for treason, I suppose. Sacrilege, more likely. Look, the sacred spells which protect the soul in its journey to the underworld have been chipped off of the coffin. So in Hotep was sentenced to death not only in this world, but in the next. Uh, maybe he got too gay with the Vestal Virgins in the temple. Oh, oh. my goodness. What did they say right there? I, did you hear that? They were talking about the virgins in the temple. Now, what was he saying about those virgins in the temple? Uh, did, well, you, did you get to experience the virgins in the temple? That just brought, you know, back some very fond memories of my time as king. I Yes, I do remember the virgins in the oh temple. Oh, my goodness. His face looked a little little dry, maybe. A little wrinkly. A little wrinkly. You know, I think actually had a nasty little lash going on there. I don't know what that was, though. I think just, you know, a little oil of lay or something just little, to touch up the face. A little gold bond, maybe. Yes, sure. Little, little nail for him. You know, some, some so, Ben... Oh, goodness. So, you know, maybe some Ben Gay. Some Ben Gay. Some man you saw. Sure. That always works to me. Yes. Just rub a little bit on that in the morning, and I'm just fine for the rest of the day. Folks, actually, we've got a great show. We, didn't, we forgot to mention, we had a trivia winner. Uh, this week we had somebody actually he emailed us at uh, at our email site and he actually answered the trivia question. I, he wants some music. He, he? he wants some music and we're going to take a look at him a little bit later on. We um, have don't we have a some kind of dancer? We uh, also yes we also we have a little dancer but um, we'll, we'll take a look at that later. But okay. you know what? Right now I think I think it's about time to take a little commercial break, don't you? I, yeah, I think I a need commercial to freshen up a little bit would be good. Okay. Let's well, folks, well, just stay tuned, and we'll be back in two. You know, when I'm not playing Pay Pay on Channel 8, people ask, I say, Peter, what's the softest thing that you put on? Is it the Dove Moisturizing Body Wash? No. Is it the little creams and lotions you rub on yourself? Wrong again. It's the silk, isn't it? No. Ooh. What is the softest thing that you put on? I put on the creep show, silly. It's a lot. 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 Creep show on every night, eleven o'clock. Watch it. So anyway, um. Oh, hi oh, folks, we're back on we're the show, back. and um, our topic today is the mummies. But you know what, first of all, folks, before we do anything else, I think it's only only fair that we take a look at our, our solid gold dancer. We oh, have yes, I'm and excited. We've, we've got a solid gold dancer standing by. Um, solid gold dancer, you out there? Now we're getting nasty! Yeah. Everybody's coming out of the 
get it. I, I was, was just I was go I was jiving with her out there. I was there, ready to you, you know get out and walk like an Egyptian almost. You know. Right. Well, well I was doing that here with you. Now, That's now I think what we'd like dance. to do right now is talk about our topic of the week. And our topic of the week, like we said, is mummies. And we have actually a mummy here with us. It's King Tut. Tootie, like to call him, like to call him Tootie. My rags okay. are falling off. I've got a massive head wound here. I don't want oh, you I to can see. see. I can tell. Well, anyway, folks, like we said, it's mummies. And we actually got some pictures we want to take a look at. Maybe if we can put them back up behind here, we can take a look at them. Um, folks, uh, I don't know if you know a whole lot about mummies. There okay, I am. But this, is, this is actually King Tut right here. This is you. That's now. my mask. Right. Folks, something interesting about mummies is... Uh, a lot of people think that they're just specifically Egyptian, but they're not necessarily all Egyptian. And I think we're going to take a look at some more here. Um, okay, now this one right here, as you can see, this was a priest who uh, was discovered. Uh, it's about 3,000 years old. Um, he, he still looks pretty good, actually. Uh, Ac well, he looks look like he had kind of sort of a nasty uh, acne problem there. Yeah, it's a little bit of... Hard face and whatnot. Yes, no, it looks like he's got a little rug burn on it, maybe. Yes. Well, I don't know what that could be from. Oh, look at him. Okay, now this young fellow right here looks like he, I, maybe it's crouched up. He looks a little cold to me, don't you think? Or, you know, like a bomb drill? Like, oh, maybe a tornado drill. Some possibly. kind of drill in class. Some kind of drill. He was, he was huddled up there Under and the something, something happened to him. We or don't quite know. He just might have been a bad little schoolboy. He could have been a bad schoolboy. And just, you know. Well, anyway. Oh, okay. Um, this right here, as you can see, this young lady back then, they did wear braids also. And she still has um, some of her of her weave in. She's and a cute little... That's fabulous. You know, that's a pretty good, pretty good weave job right there, I would say. Yeah. Still holding in thousands of year, years later. I wonder what she used, you know. I don't know, but now this, see, we're not, we're not even going to talk about this mess right here. This is nap, and we don't want to see this. Thank you very much. Let's see the next one. Okay, now this right here looks like he's a little bit of a burn victim. I don't know I would if, say, there was a, if yes. there was like a beating or burning maybe process involved. Yes, you know, he gives, obviously he's missing an eyeball. Missing some other types of things too, but sure. I don't. Well, okay. Now this young lad, he's a little bashful. It looks like he's a little shy. Perhaps maybe doing the peekaboo thing. Playing a little up. game of peekaboo. Right, right. Now he's the mummy also, and uh, got some little dentures working here. Very, very straight teeth, though. I would say. I think he's got actually a cleft. Well, there's another oh, no, this, picture. This guy right here had a little cleft palate. A little problems, cleft palate see. problem. Laying, maybe laying in this position for thousands of years caused his lip to, you know, come up a little and he, bit. He's sort of missing the middle. T it looks almost like David Letterman there, that gap. Just a bit. Teeth. I would say maybe David has... Could be Dave. Right, okay. Maybe his ancestor. Okay, and now this one, this last one, you can see he's got oh, a something oh, special. Oh, goodness. Oh. oh, stop that. Don't, I don't know what that was. To, oh, oh, God, know. my hand just fell off. Oh, goodness. Oh, my. Here, let me give this back oh, to you. you I, Thank you. Here you I, go. You just I don't want you that. to see this. This is not good. I don't okay, well, anyway, folks, here we are back in the cemetery. Um, that was mummies, and, um, you know, moving right along with the whole mummy thing, I think it's only appropriate that we talk about our, our trivia question of the week. Next, let's talk about our trivia question from last week, because like I said, we had a winner, which yeah. is pretty rare up here. Um, folks, if you'd like to be a winner, you can email us up here at creepitfrank. Dot .mtsu. Dot edu. And we also have a website, www.mtsu.edu forward slash tilde creep. And uh, I've actually, been on that site, actually. It, have have yes. you? We've got some new pictures on there, actually. And, oh, really? And, yes, we do. I, I enjoyed the Tom Selleck picture, actually, myself. Do you? Really? Yeah. I'm Tom's a big Tom horrible. Selleck fan. Okay. All right. Anyway. That's enough about Tom Selleck. Okay. Let's, let's actually, I'd like to read the trivia answer that our, our friend, uh, actually, Cedric, he won. Uh, but here's the trivia answer, or the trivia question first, rather. The trivia question from last week was, what author slash director wrote The Crucible, which was a play about the Salem Witch Trials of 1692? Now, I, I don't know, um, Tootie, if you caught last week's show, but uh, the, the answer was actually Arthur Miller. Oh, Arthur Miller was the Arthur. answer. And, and like I said, Cedric um, Waller uh, actually won the, the trivia uh, prize and and actually I think right now we're gonna take a look at it. You see this is the CD he won dude dude Maori. Uh, I just love to and, and actually let's, let's take a look at Cedric. Oh 
Oh, hi, folks. It's Pepe Creep reporting for The Creep Show. And uh, as you know, we had a trivia winner last week, Cedric Waller. He emailed us with the correct answer. And uh, I think what we'd like to do right now is, is go up to see Cedric and maybe give him this prize. So come on, let's go. Let's go see what Cedric's doing. Come on. Okay, here we go. We're going up on the second floor now, okay? And, uh, and I think this is his room, actually. Let's, uh, let's see. Here we go. Okay, this is Cedric's room here. Hi, uh, Cedric Waller? Uh, yeah. Okay, hi, I'm Pepe Creep from The Creep Show. Um, yes, we, we had a little trivia answer last week, and I think you won. And, uh, yes, you are a winner. You are a lucky winner. Cedric emailed us, and, uh, what I'd like to do is give him this CD. This is the CD he won. This is Dude Mari. So, here, Cedric, here you go. This is your CD. And, uh, folks, you can be a winner, too, just like Cedric is. And, uh, all you have to do is email us with the correct answer each week. I don't quite think it's quite soaking in the fact that he's the winner yet. So, uh, I, I hope you enjoy it. Thanks a lot, folks. I'm Pepe Creep, reporting for The Creep Show. Okay, oh. and we're back. What um, a lucky young man. Yes, you can see he looked, he looked very excited about winning the Dude Mari I know CD. I would be. I know I would be, too. I just love Dude. This is the fabulous CD. You know, I think he actually, Dude was actually a key grip up here on The Creep Show for a while. I think so. And he was able to donate one of his CDs to us. But that's fabulous. Well, anyway, anyway, moving right along. I think what we want to do now is say the trivia question for this week. That, that Which is something like special. A good idea. Folks, we want to encourage you, if you know the answer, to email us. Um, but here's the question. Let me go ahead and read it. Who was the first royal Egyptian to be mummified? Why don't you read this hint right here? We've got a little, little hint oh, going okay. on. Okay. Here. Here's who the was, hint. Okay, the, the hint is that, you know, she was the queen of the, of the fourth dynasty. Right, right. So if you know that, we, like we said, we want you to email us up here at creepitfrank dot mtsu dot edu she she actually was you know a foxy little little queen. she was she's a foxy little number yep. and you know what right now that i think that kind of reminds kind me of our foxy you know, of our, our, our solid gold, gold, gold dancer. dancer i think well, she's, i think a, she's out there maybe what a coincidence. dancing up a storm i'd love to see would oh, you like to see could her could we take a look at her maybe take a look at our solid gold dancer is there some oh, oh there she is yeah. Yeah. Um, well, anyway, folks, you know, this is, this is all silly and whatnot, but I think right now would be a good time to take a commercial break. I'd so, yes, let's so do. just stick around, and uh, when we get back, we'll be taking a look at the movie Mom. Okay. I'll just patch myself up here. We'll see in two. Has this ever happened to you? Are you tired of getting burned in the shower? Well, you don't have to take it anymore. Now, try the amazing Bucket of Ice. With easy installation, the Bucket of Ice offers instant cooling satisfaction for those nasty shower burns. The amazing Bucket of Ice can be yours, and if you act now, you'll receive this second fast-action ripcord for those persistent flushers. Send 1995 to Bucket of Ice, 1735 Arctic Avenue, Fargo, North Dakota, 27112. Welcome to Action News 8. In our headlines tonight, a new slogan is sweeping the campus of MTSU. John, do you have any idea what that is? I sure do, Missy. That new slogan is Channel 8. Yeah. I want to do some Tai Chi on Channel 8, because it sucks! Maybe if we'd fix this leak in the ceiling, our programming wouldn't suck. Channel 8! Channel 8! Go ahead, release your fears. Stand up and be counted. Don't be shamed. Oh, 
Oh my goodness, okay, we're back now. I feel so much better now that I'm just a little patched up. You do, you oh, look wonderful. And you know, if you need if you need some more, I've got some right here. Well, oh, I think, well, let me just keep it right here. I like it, I like the way uh, it feels right here, okay? okay. I'll just tuck your way down oh. here. Okay, so anyway, folks, you're watching The Creep Show, and I'm your host, Pepe Creep, and with me is my Tootie. special guest, Tootie. King Tut. King Tut. As I'm known to the rest of the world. What now? We like to call you Tootie every once in a while, because, yes. you know, you're learning facts life. Well, you know, it's anyway, been a while. Well, anyway, let's, we, what we want to do right now is we want to take a look at our, our other movie, Mom. Now, this movie was fabulous. This movie, like we said, Stella's in it, and uh, she, what she is, she becomes, a, she's not really a mummy, per se, but she's the mom. She's the mom. And she's a sweet old lady, but she goes around biting people, and she's got this desire to eat people. Flesh. And in the scene you're about to see, she's gone a little crazy, and uh, she's actually looking for flesh to eat. She's on the street, and she bumps into the street bum. He's actually a cop, and he's got a gun. So um, I think we'll take it. It's an I'd, action pack. I'd like pack. to see that. It's a pack, a little action pack action clip. Action pack. Oh, goodness. Well. So let's, let's go ahead and take a look at Mom. <laughs> Officer, ladies, now stay where you are. Oh, no, man. Hendricks, how about some backup here? I got some crazy old lady on PCP. <laughs> Okay, now that was mom, as you saw, and she was running about the building, chewing people, biting them and whatnot. Yes. And uh, she was a little scary, didn't she? She looked a little frightening. Well, you know, I, I thought I'd just, you know, want to recommend a good dentist to her because her teeth just, you know, looked a little yellow. A little yellow, maybe a little too much smoking. Yes, I think so, actually. A few, a few too many cigarettes. Right. Now, folks, in that movie, I don't know if you saw, that was mom running around looking like Stella there with her little purse. And uh, she was getting a little violent with a police officer there. She thought he was a street bomb. Actually, he was an undercover cop trying to bust the murderer. They didn't think it was an old lady. And, uh, well, I don't want to give away too much. Did you see how the bullets just, you know, stopped right into her? They just, you know... She just put her hand ping. out there. Kind of like, like Wonder Woman did, you know, the, with the bracelet. Yes. Mm hmm So anyway, like we said, the topic is mummies. And that was Mom. And, uh... You know, right now, I think what we should do is probably reiterate the trivia question once again that, about mummy. What a great idea, Pete. So, I just love hosting the show with you. I have much love. I love to. And anyway, would you like to read the trivia question? Sure. It actually, the, tr the question is, who was the first royal Egyptian to be mummified? And actually, can I, can I give him a hint, maybe? Well. Okay, well, the hint is, she was the queen of the fourth dynasty. Now, folks, if you, if you know that, We'd like you to email us up here at, We'd love to hear from at you. creepitfrank.mtsu.edu. And we also have a website, like uh -huh. we were saying a little earlier. www.mtsu.edu forward slash tilde. Little tilde there. Creep. Yes. Creep. 
Anyway, folks, it's been a, a, a wonderful show. Um, we, we want you to, we definitely want you to write us up here, folks. We, we just enjoy our email so much. And uh, you know what? You're going to have to tell me where you get these threads because you've just, they look fabulous. You've got them all over the place. This is all I had right it's, here. It's actually just gauze that I, you know, had. The gauze? Yeah. Maybe I'll oh, over the red coat. Here. There's, there was a nice young man over the red coat named Stephen who, you know, helped Stephen? me out with the gauze. Stephen who? I know some Stevens. Yeah, well, you know, I think his, I think his name was Stephen Woodman, but anyway, you know. Stephen Woodman? Folks, if you know Stephen Woodman, go down and say hi to him for, hi, you know. Hi, Stephen Woodman. Tootie and, and Pepe and get, pick up some gods, you know, for the family. Just wrap your friends. Gods is always fun. You know what I like to do with gods? Sometimes I get a little silly. I wrap myself in gods and then a friend beats me with a stick. Well, that's, that's what I like to I, do on the weekend. Actually, Pepe, next time, try gods with kerosene. Kerosene? And then okay. light you on fire and then beat you with a stick. Oh, okay. That, run, sounds, run through that the, sounds appropriate. The streets, yes, like a, a you know a craving lunatic. You know what? That speaking of that, you know what that reminds me. Um, dancing that, in the street. Dancing in the street. Maybe and whatnot. A we, solid we've got gold we've got a solid gold dancer. And I think actually she is dancing. The street. I'd love to see her. I, I'm one not more sure, time. but maybe can we take a look Let's at our solid gold her. dancer? Dancing away. How posh! That was that was awesome. that was that was phenomenal. Um, but anyway, she needs she, some gauze. She needs a little bit of gauze too. You know, I think our solid gold dancer. Um, maybe a little bit later when we take when we when we take another look at her, we'll have some gauze me wrapped around her. Yes. Different. You know, I'd like to wrap some gauze around her myself, actually. But well, that's something different. In yes. In itself. Now, something I'd like to say. One last thing about those those mummies. Did you know? Do you know that they actually removed all their organs? Uh, before they were mummified? Yes, I, you know, I, I found that out. I went over to, actually, I went over to McDonald's and I ate, you know, a Big Mac with fries. Mm -hmm. And the next thing I know, you know, it just fell right into my lap and I realized that, you know, my stomach was gone. Oh, that was, okay. That so, was you. Yeah. Parts, the little organs were falling off, perhaps? Well, yes. Now, can know. I see your hand? What did you do with your hand? Well, it's laying around here somewhere. Here he is. This is, okay. Now, you know what I'm going to do? I'm actually, this, this is quite nice. What I'm going to do here, you hold this. See what we're going to do? We're going to trade right oh, here. Oh, oh, you hold the, oh. Don't stab yourself now. You don't want to do that. Actually, you know what I'm going to do? I'm going to put this right here on my legs. I like that way. Oh, that feels that You know, here. I still have a feeling in that hand. Oh, do you now? Yes. Ooh. I still feel. Okay. Anyway, folks, like we said, this has been the Creep Show, and this has been incredible. But you know what? That's, it's, I think that's been about it for the show. I've had a wonderful I time. Have. I have too. Talking about mummies and whatnot. Yes. But actually, okay. right now, I think I'd like to go out with one of my favorite songs. And, uh, well, actually, that's it for the show. Let's, let's, just, let's dance away. Let's, huh? let's dance the room.